If you're using PixInsight and still doing everything manually inside WBPP, you're missing out on a lot of nice things. In two recent videos, we took a deep dive into two very exciting scripts, the event script and the pipeline builder script. But in those two videos, I think we got very, very technical. And so I think a lot of you may have not even made it to the exciting bit and you didn't get to see how much these two scripts can do for you. So today, no code, no technical details, just a practical demonstration on how to set up these two scripts to save time, automate your post-processing, and in general, just make WBPP even smarter than it already is. My name is Lutza and you're watching The Space Koala. Let's start with what these two scripts are and what they can be used for. The first one is the notification event script. Think of it as your personal WBPP assistant. Every time a step finishes like registration, integration, calibration, whatever, it sends a message straight through your phone to notify you about it. So while WBPP is working hard and crunching numbers, you can be out running errands or watching the sky and still be notified immediately about anything that goes wrong and in general be able to follow how it is progressing. I started using this script to monitor my stacking a few months ago and it is quite a small thing but it does save me time because I know exactly when I have to go back to the computer. The second script will be the no code pipeline builder script and this one is way more exciting. It lets you customize the entire WBPP workflow. You can even add your own steps at any given point without writing a single line of code. Say you want to do an automatic background extraction on every single frame right after the calibration step, or you would like to run a spectrophotometric color calibration on your ready stack, followed by an auto histogram stretch or blur exterminator even. With the pipeline builder script, you can do just that and more. And with the no code pipeline builder script, you can customize your entire workflow just by setting up a simple process container and dragging and dropping your desired processes in there and also tell WBPP at which stage you would like it to execute those steps. After that, it takes care of everything for you. This way you can actually turn WBPP into an actual workflow tool, not just an admittedly very powerful pre-processing engine. Okay, so now that we're all excited about these two new scripts, let's have a look at how we actually can set them up. Step one will be installing the scripts. Go to the spacekoala.com and select Tools Picks Inside from the menu at the top you'll find the address of my PixInsight repository there. You'll just need to select this address and copy it. Then go in into PixInsight, select Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, and then in the window that pops up, add a new line and paste the URL that you have just copied from my website. Once you have done that, click OK. Now you can run an update by clicking Resources, Updates, check for updates. This will find the new scripts and download them. Once you have restarted PixInsights, the installation of the scripts is done and we are ready to actually set them up. Let's start by using the notification event script. We will start by setting up our preferences to tell PixInsight what your preferred notification channel is. It is currently supporting Telegram and iMessage. Telegram is available on any platform and iMessage is currently available on Mac computers only. Here's how we're going to configure it. Select the send message to phone script from the scripts menu, the space koala in PixInsight. This little script can actually be used to send any image from PixInsight directly to your phone, but we can also use it to save our messaging preferences. First, we will select our preferred platform, Telegram or iMessage. Then, depending on the selected platform, we will have to provide some further information, the bot token and chat ID for Telegram, and your recipient, which will be a phone number or Apple ID for iMessage. Once you have filled these in, click Save Settings and we are done. If you have tried the first version of this script or saw the original video, you will realize that this has just become infinitely easier. You no longer have to manually edit the script files because using this configuration script, 
PixInsight will actually remember your preferences forever and you will only have to provide it once and PixInsight will remember it even if there is a PixInsight update. Now, if you'd like to make sure that the messaging actually works, you can test it on any image at this stage. You can click send and it will automatically send the current active window to your phone or you can also save this as a process icon and then drag and drop that onto any image to quickly get it over to your phone. Once we know that this works, we head straight to WBPP. We navigate to the pipeline tab and on the right hand side, you can see that there is a field called event script. We will be browsing the event script file from here. Navigate to the folder that contains the PixInsight scripts. On a Mac, this will be under Applications, PixInsight, SRC, Scripts, the space Koala. And on Windows, this will be under C, Program Files, PixInsight, SRC, Scripts, the space Koala. Select the file named Notification Event Script and hit OK. OK, so the setup at this stage is actually done. Once you run PixInsight, it will be sending you notifications after every single step with some basic statistics about how many frames were successful in each step and so on. And once the master files are ready, you will even get a preview of those straight to your phone. If you would like to use Telegram, but you're unsure as to how you can get those credentials, I'll show you quickly how this is done. If you're not interested in this, feel free to skip ahead to the next chapter that is much more exciting. Okay, so we're gonna open Telegram and then we're gonna search for the user at botfather and start a conversation with them. Here, we will create a bot following the instructions received from botfather and we're going to copy the token that he gives you because we're going to need that. Now we can actually message our newly created bot. We can just click on their name right here. Once we have messaged our bot, we can go on the website api.telegram.org slash your bot slash get updates. Make sure you actually substitute your bot with the token that you have received and on this page, if you look through all the information that it gives you, you can search for the field that says chat ID. This is the number that we're going to have to save. So at this stage, we have received two pieces of information, the bot token and the chat ID. These are going to be the two pieces of credentials. Now we can go back to Pix Insight and we're going to paste these two values into the script we saw before and that's actually it. Your Telegram messaging will work now both for sending over individual images at any given time just by executing the script itself or by saving the parameters you can also use the notification event script with Telegram. Now the fun part which is the no code pipeline builder. Let's say we want to run automatic background extraction after calibration on each frame or we would like to apply a quick auto stretch after your integration is done just to see what we're working with or you would like to just save time by already running spectrophotometric color calibration on your stacked color image. Here's how we're going to be able to do all of this and more without writing a single line of code. We will start by creating a process container in PixInsight. This process container will include, contain all the processes that we would like WBPP to do for us automatically. We can then fill this up with our desired processes just by dragging and dropping process instances into it. Make sure that when you are dragging and dropping the process instances into the process container, you already have the correct settings on the process that you would like to use and that ideally it will not require any further user input at runtime. With this, we have already told WBPP what is the list of processes we would like it to execute. All that's left to do is tell it when to actually execute that. We can do this by using the description field that is actually 
present on every single process within the process container. In this case, I will be writing step equal on post process. And that means this process will be executed once the post processing in WBPP is done, meaning that this is the very last stage of the pipeline. So essentially these processes will be executed on the already ready master stacked frames. You can execute steps at many different points within the pipeline. Um, and on my website, you can find the full list of valid entry points. But here are a few examples. We have on calibration end that is executed after the calibration step. We have on pre-process end that is done after the entire pre-processing. So that includes calibration, linear pattern correction, and so on, and debayering. We can do it on registration start, that is just before we actually start to register the frames. And of course, we can do it on post process end, which is the example we did just now. So now that we have our process container ready and configured, we're gonna save it into a process icon by dragging this little triangle into the PixInsight workspace. This will create this icon and we can just rename that by clicking on the little letter N in the top right corner. We will name this WBPP. It is very important that this is the exact name that we use because this is how WBPP will know that this is the process container that it should be looking at. Once we have all this, we go back into WBPP. We will once again navigate to the pipeline tab, and this time we will customize the pipeline builder field on the right hand side. Similarly to how we did this for the event script, we will browse the pix inside script directory just a reminder on the mac this will be under applications pix inside src scripts the space koala and on windows this will be under c program files pix inside src scripts the space koala we will locate the file called no code pipeline builder as soon as we hit OK, we will see our custom processes that have been added to the pipeline and they have become an integral part of it. In the example that we just did, this will then create a new directory in our working folder and we will find there our now processed master that has been color calibrated and auto stretched. Hopefully by now we can all appreciate that this is quite a powerful tool to fully customize WBPP, making it go from a potent pre-processing tool to a fully fledged workflow tool right within Bix Insight. Now let's see what happens if we set up a somewhat more complex process container. So what I did here was resizing my calibrated files. Then after integration, I applied a series of processing steps, color calibration, deconvolution, an auto stretch, and a few curves. Here is what the raw master file looked like versus the auto processed version. Not bad for something that was done in literally zero clicks. So here's the bottom line. The original event script and pipeline builder script are both extremely powerful tools, but they require you to know JavaScript, essentially. My purpose with these two customizable scripts that are free to download was to make these tools available to anyone without having to know how to write code. And I aim to keep working on these in the future. So if you encounter any issues or if you have ideas of what else we could do, feel free to reach out by commenting below. I would love to hear everybody's experiences and use cases. Now, if you are the type of person that likes a challenge and you would like to create your own version of these scripts, you are very much encouraged to do so. And I do hope that you will also consider sharing your work with the community afterwards the tools are all out there they are very powerful but unfortunately they're not very well documented so for those of you who do want to do your own scripts hopefully my 
two scripts can serve as a starting point and then you can modify that to make something even better. However, for most of us, I think if all you want to do is maybe save a few minutes of repetitive clicking every time and maybe get a notification once you can go back to your computer and process your stacks, I think what is already available is more than enough. Everything you will need including a much more detailed instructional and a documentation of all the possibilities we didn't mention here for both scripts are available for free on thespacekoala.com. And again, should you run into any trouble, feel free to reach out. I'd love to see how you all end up using these, whether it's just basic notifications or a full-fledged WBPP mega processing workflow. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this, uh, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I wish you clear skies.